Hi everybody, welcome back. I am waiting for my dad. He is in the foot doctor. He goes uh, every like three months and they cut his toenails, check his feet. He's on a blood thinner, so um, he gets that uh, benefit through his insurance. And not to be like gross, but a lot of times older people, their their toes are a little thick, toenails are a little thicker, so it's hard to cut them. So I just feel better him coming here. So today's the day that he has his appointment and he is in there now. He'll be out in a little bit. I have made a make a makeshift um, tripod here with my purse. I was trying to hold the camera, but it kept shaking. Um, I'm at home, so I don't have my tripod on, and I didn't plan to do a vlog, but I thought, oh, I'll pop on here, say hi, see how you guys are doing. It is an absolute beautiful day here, hence my sunglasses. Um, it's about 72. We have a little tiny bit of a breeze, and the sky is so clear, just beautiful. I love winter time in Florida because it's just the perfect weather. We will sometimes get down to like about uh, 50, sometimes 40, but I was born and raised in the Chicagoland area. So, you know, I was used to a lot more harsh weathers in, in the winter. So for it to get down to that, it, it really doesn't bother me. It's funny because it, my husband just doesn't like it at all. He, he prefers when it's hot and I like it in the beginning of summer, but towards the end of summer, when it's like around August, even September when we're still pretty hot, I'm just waiting for it, the weather to cool. This is like the happiest time for me and as far as like my health usually I feel better when the weather is like this but then when the weather gets a little too cool around February we it, it rains a lot and it get the weather gets cool I um, I have a little trouble with my asthma more than any other time um, I did go through a little bout um, in November, we went to uh, Orlando for my birthday, and Rob had caught some kind of little bug, and, and he gave it to me, and then my dad got it, so the three of us weren't feeling good around Thanksgiving, and just before Christmas, and it made my asthma worse, so I've been on a higher dose of my Simbacort, and it's helped a lot. I, I was having to take my um, albuterol, inhaler which is like my rescue inhaler like two to three times a day which I'm very lucky sometimes I don't take it for weeks at a time because I'm good so I went to see the doctor and he just said that the virus probably like made my asthma worse I'm supposed to go back on the lower dose um, after the 20th I think the 19th of the 20th um, but if it starts acting up again I'm going to call him and see if I should stay on a higher dose. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I have like this chubby face is because of uh, the steroids that are in it but they're not as high like as if I took prednisone which I also took prednisone excuse me for um, my lupus many years ago. So that's just a little bit of a health update. Uh, the day is just really, really nice. After this, we're gonna go to a Goodwill that's really big, and it, it serves a good purpose for us because I like to walk, look around and see what goodies they have, and it's large enough where my dad walks around a couple times. He gets a good walk in. He's very into walking. My dad is 89 years old, and for any of you that follow me on Facebook, you will see how active he is. He goes with us to a lot of different places. He pays his own bills, he drives. Um, if it's someplace further, I will drive, or if he's just tired, I'll drive. He's very um, 
cognitive, like 100%. He reads a lot. He, I don't know if I mentioned, but he turned 89 in November. And he's just doing really good. So God bless. And I hope that he has uh, many more years of great health. And, um, you know, just keeps kind of trucking along with uh, my husband and I. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Uh, I talked about the weather, my health, um, makeup used to be like a big part of like my world and yeah I still wear makeup, see I have makeup on, but I'm not buying as much as I used to. Uh, I don't even qualify for the VIB thing at Sephora. Um, I've been into for like the past like maybe year and a half I've been into more drugstore brands I feel like drugstore brands have really they've over the last five to ten years they've really stepped up their game and honestly if I can buy like a lip color or something that's just as good as a drug as a high-end brand for a better price why not buy it you know so um, yesterday I did a declutter of my um, makeup. I didn't film it because um, it's just too much and I kind of it's kind of like therapeutic for me when I start to do a declutter of like my closet or this time it was my um, makeup vanity and filming it just kind of takes that away from it but I have like five different eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to give to my niece that either are not used or hardly used so she'll like that um, and then I just threw up things that were old there were some blushes and um, a lipstick that was old actually I think I threw up like three lipsticks that were old because I used to just buy a lot and now I I've always been like a big clothes buyer, like I love clothes, I'm a total clothes horse. And as far as like accessories, jewelry, I love jewelry, but a lot of my jewelry, my husband will buy me or I'll get it as a gift. Once in a while, if I see like a cute pair of costume earrings or something, I'll pick them up. But most of the spending I did before besides for the house was makeup, but I just have, like not been into hoarding tons of makeup I feel like it's a waste you know and now that we've been living in my dad's home the house is bigger there's more to decorate and stuff so I'd rather like spend money or save up money to do stuff with the house and then still buy my clothes um it's funny because I totally take after my dad when it comes to that my dad loves clothes and he you know he grew up like right post depression in a family of eight and he had to share or get hand-me-downs like his whole life I mean one time we were talking about it and he told me that the only time he remembers getting something brand new just for him was when he made his Holy Communion and they went to Montgomery Ward and he got his own suit but everything else was hand-me-downs from his older brothers. Um, my dad was the second to the last in the line of brothers. And, um, you know, so when he was able to work and, you know, be an adult, work and have his own life, um, he just likes clothes, you know. And uh, I totally take care of him after him because my mom, rest in peace, uh, she was always more into like getting kitchen gadgets and new things to do in the kitchen and yeah she liked clothes but she was she wasn't the person that would buy clothes every time we go out shopping or we went out shopping um, I'm just kind of rambling I've had some uh, of my Starbucks I get all kinds of different things uh, today I just got a venti ice latte with three stevia it's not fancy, but it tastes good. How long am I going on? Oh, oh almost 10 minutes. So, um, what I, I was just saying, I'm just not 
so much into buying like every lipstick or every color. If I see something different, yeah, I will buy it. But it's really not like it was a few years ago where I feel like I had to have not every new thing because I don't always get into like the new collections. Um, but there are certain things like eye palettes. I love eye palettes. I love eyeshadow. And um, I would buy a lot of those. Where now I'm more choosy, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's age. Maybe it's. I just focus on different things as far as buying. But I'm very lucky because I live near a lot of different stores. I'm not a very big uh, online shopper. Uh, at Christmas I did do quite a lot of online shopping because the people I was buying for they wanted certain things that I could get online so that's what I did for that lady just walked by me sometimes it's weird when you're recording a vlog because you feel like you're talking to yourself but I think more and more people do it I always find it fascinating when you have people that are professional vloggers and like they have their camera out and they're walking. There's tons of people. Um, I'm not shy, but I don't know if I could actually do that just yet. I'd like to start showing you more of where I live without showing you where I live. Because there has to be some privacy. Because I do live in a really beautiful part of the country. Uh, I always joke or... I've seen this joke and then I joke more about it, how people will complain about Florida, is this where I live? Oh, it's too hot, oh, there's hurricanes. But when you see people planning vacations, they come here. And the last like 10 years, I think, about that, we've had so many people move into the state and specifically my area, uh, when we first came here, was in 1994 and there's an area that I call it like downtown and um, it was like there was nothing they had some office buildings there was a very like big um, not a thrift store but an antique store I feel like I'm gonna sneeze Ooh, I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> oh, excuse me and maybe one or two restaurants now it's like the block that I'm talking about is filled with with like everything restaurants and shops and and hair salons and med spas and uh, tattoo places piercing places. I mean it's just amazing you know you have like a lot of people that Net, didn't see that because they didn't live here or they weren't born and I'll always I always tell people like wow this place is just so different than it used to be and so it's becoming more of a that was a truck it's becoming more of a um like a, not a booming city but a city where there's lots of things to do and one of the things I like about living here too is that it's very accepting you know, um, the, I am straight, uh, heterosexual, what do you want to say, but I'm a, I'm an ally to people that are, you know, to gay people, um, trans, whatever. Uh, I, I just want people to be happy. Uh, I was raised to accept people that are maybe different from you and maybe you like kind of learn from them. And the city I live in has become very accepting. I think they have one of the largest uh, pride parades uh, in the country. And I think that's a good thing because uh, this is not political at all. My channel will never, never, never be about politics. This is just my thoughts. I just feel like love is love, you know, and I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm not here to tell you who you love is wrong, you know. Um, so I'm glad it's becoming, or it has become more of a loving city of acceptance, you know. Because I think that's a good thing. I really do. 
Um, I grew up in a time where there was a lot of ignorance and had different family members that like they didn't even accept people that were different nationality from them and so many people of my age were closeted because they were afraid what their families or friends would say um, and I think that's really sad that you can't live your life so that's just my little my little thoughts on it like I said it's nothing political it's just um, has to do with love and being a human and being kind to one another and accepting and uh, that's kind of the way I live my life so I am like over 15 minutes I probably should let you go I think my dad's gonna come out soon and I head over to the Goodwill and then uh, we have to pick up a pair of glasses that he ordered last week head home and uh, we're watching my little uh, dog few. <laughs> uh, my brother's family has a little chihuahua and we are uh, taking care of them. They moved into a new place and he'll be in their way so we've been taking care of him so he's home and he's doing good. It's always good to have him around. I will uh, see you guys soon and I hope that you enjoyed this kind of new vlog style. Uh, I will do more makeup stuff. Uh, another time. I just kind of enjoy talking to you and sharing my thoughts and um, if there's anything that you want me to talk about uh, just tell me down below say hi give me a thumbs up and uh, you know I don't I like I'm going on now but something else still coffee um, I don't want to be like this big, like million dollar, million dollar, million subscriber, like vlogger or YouTuber, but I would like to get more people that watch my channel. Um, so if you know of anybody you think would like vlogs and makeup, uh, I'd like to get more into fashion too. Um, just introduce them to my channel and tell them to say hi so I can say hi back. Now another thing, when you first open YouTube, it'll say like if you want to do the um, like the membership. You don't need a membership to watch my channel so you just X out of that. Um, I don't know why people would pay for YouTube when you can watch like, almost every video for free but they just put that in there everybody has to make money um so like comment subscribe and like i said if you have any subjects that you want to hear my opinion on or anything about my life that you want me to talk about or any questions leave me a question down below say hi it really does help me get on the algorithm i know you hear this from everybody and it's someone just watching youtube or, or videos in general I'm sure it's very boring but it really just helps us out I'm not trying to make money I'm just trying to meet more people and uh, get more exposure I've been doing this for quite some time and I'd like this year to concentrate more on vlogging and showing you like where I live without showing you where I live you know that that means I'll talk to you soon have a great morning afternoon evening night whatever time of day you you are watching this, and I'll see you soon.